to another podcast or the blog. Welcome to beyoungministry.blogspot.com and to the YouTube channel of Be Young Ministry. Uh, hi, I'm Bobby. I trust you're doing well. Today, uh, our text is Ephesians 4, 25 through 28, which reads, Therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and give no opportunity to the devil. Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor, do an honest work with his own hands, so that he may have something to share with anyone in need. Again, that's Ephesians 4, verses 25 through 28. Our faith is best seen in our deeds. The Lord Jesus said, Out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adultery. That comes from Matthew 15, 19. And our new life literally is Christ himself. If we do not have Christ, we do not have new life. Now, the apostle is not actually telling us to put off um, ourself. He is saying to deny the urges to fulfill our God-given desires in a non-God-defined way. There are those who have the idea we are to go about crucifying ourselves, putting the old self to death. But we are not told to put the old man to death. We are to appropriate what Christ accomplished in his cross and through his resurrection. Denying the old life and putting on the new life is done whenever we face temptation. Paul writes, Having put away falsehood, that is, don't feed the flesh, or don't do it the world's way. Then he writes, let each one of you speak the truth. He is saying, be defined by God's definition of things. When sin entered the world, it altered everything. It altered the way it was supposed to be for us. In Galatians 6, Paul wrote, If we sow to the flesh, we will reap corruption. Lying brings with it corruption and subsequent death to relationships. Lying, along with all other sin, was judged at the cross as being such. So we should be defined by the truth. We should tell the truth because it's God's culture. It's what is right. Then Paul writes, for we are members of one of another. This means as members of Christ's life, we do not live on an island. And if we lie, we not only hurt ourselves, but we hurt others as well, not inculcating truth. Next, Paul writes, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. Our capacity for anger is part of the image of God in us. God gets angry, but he does not sin. We can be angry and not sin. We sin when our anger is self-motivated. Sinful anger is anger that comes when our feelings have been hurt or our pride has been injured or we have been mistreated in some way. Vengeance is is involved. Godlike anger is that which is concerned with others' well-being, when others are wronged, when people are unjustly treated. It should bother us, even to the point of standing up to it. This is righteous anger. We should not let the sun go down on our anger, because anger has a tendency to simmer and fester. When this happens, the evil one is given an opportunity to make the situation worse. When I was a kid, I deliberately annoyed my sisters. I have three older sisters. What younger brother doesn't 
annoy his older sisters. Well, when they had had enough of my annoying them, they would come after me. There were three doors that locked, that had locks on them in our house. The front door, the back door, and the bathroom. Guess where I would run to flee? My sister's anger. It was the bathroom. If I could get the door locked, I was safe. If any one of them could get their foot wedged between the door and the door frame, I was toast. This is the idea when we hold on to anger and do not solve the issue. The devil gets a foothold. Finally, in our text today, Paul commands us to not steal, but to work for what we get. The believer is commanded to do all our secular work with a view to meeting the needs of the others that are around us. We can live to have or we can live to give. The potential behind this is life-changing, not just for those who benefit, but for those who give. And we are most like God when we are giving. And there is much more to this than meets the eye. My friends, I trust this podcast is helpful to you in your walk with the Lord. If I can be of any help to you, shoot me an email at beyoungministry at gmail.com.